Hello and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, and today's topic is graham cracker plate tectonics. Now, we are currently living and walking and sitting on the Earth's crust, the uppermost and outermost layer of the Earth layers. Now, the crust sets on top of what is called the upper mantle, which is a moving and flowing layer of magma. And the crust floats and moves on top of that, and there are seven main plates. And then there are multiple smaller plates, and they're always interacting and bumping into each other and rubbing and sliding against each other, causing earthquakes and mountain formations and all kinds of zones, geologic zones around the Earth. So we can use this activity to see those different zones and how they form and what they form out of their crashing or separating from one another. Now you'll need the following things to do this experiment. Two graham crackers. And with the graham crackers, you'll need to break them up very gently into their separate sections. So you have six individual sections. And set those on a large workable plate. Also you'll need some vanilla icing or Cool Whip. I picked vanilla because I added some food coloring and made it a nice orange magma color. And paper towels are always nice and handy if your hands get sticky or dirty. So the first thing you'll need to do is we'll need to make our magma layer. So take your icing that you made or your Cool Whip, add that to your plate and make a layer on your plate. Smear it around, spread it out. It can have lumps and bumps. That is okay. Perfect. And, mm. First, we're going to talk about when these plates, plate tectonics, crash into one another or separate or slide against one another, there are three major or three different types of those boundary zones, when those boundaries of the plates slide or touch one another. The first is called the divergent boundary. So that is when you have the two plates, so this will represent a plate, this will represent a plate. When those plates are normally sort of side by side and they separate from one another, they diverge, separate from one another. So when you're doing this, you'll set these down onto your upper mantle and you'll notice that they sort of wiggle and give a little bit, just like the Earth's crust labels, because the mantle is described in a geologic term as plastic, not because it's plastic, like toys are made of plastic, but it's movable and changeable. So we're going to do a divergent boundary, and to do that, I'm going to grab the edges and pull apart. And what do you see? You see some separation, you see some exposure to the mantle below. So that could be some magma that emerges up and lava flow comes out. That is what you call a divergent boundary. Now the best part, you get to peel these up and eat them. <laughs> Again, set your two plates down. Sort of as they were in the divergent boundary. Here in the plate, we have an example of an aerial view of the divergent boundary. Notice how the two plates have separated. The plates move away from one another. Please do this as part of your experiment and describe what you see in your journal. Now the next boundary is called a convergent boundary. Con meaning with, so with or coming together. So they slam into each other. So take your boundaries, sort of press down, 
and push together. And what happened? What do you see? I'll change the, the layer there, the movement, as you can see. I have on mine, some of that upper mantle came up through. One of the plates went on top of the other plate like this one did, but this plate went under. You call that a subduction zone. So when that one plate goes under, this one can come up. You could have mountain formations because of this, or volcanoes. Sort of that lava will come out and form new rock. So that is a convergent. When two of these plates slam into one another and one will go under the other. Here is an aerial view of a convergent boundary. Notice the two plates, plates have collided with one another. And in mine, you can't see it from the aerial view, but there is subduction where one plate went under the other plate. And you have some of that upper mantle magma transformed into lava when it comes to the surface, coming and emerging upward between the two plates. Next. Set those side by side again. We have a transform boundary. And transform is when they move horizontally to one another. They sort of move and slide side by side just like this on the plate. And when they do that, they're bumping into other plates and sliding back and forth and things shake and roll and rattle. And that is called a transform boundary, when they move side by side. The last of our aerial view of our plate boundaries is the transform boundary. You have where the plates are moving side by side, horizontally, next to one another. As you can see on my plate, one is going up a little bit and the other is going down. And you have them sort of sliding and grinding across one another as they're moving on that upper mantle. So those are the three different types of boundary zones with plate tectonics. So go to your geology kitchen and create your very own borders and your plate tectonics boundaries of your own and take pictures, show them off, draw what you see when you are doing your boundaries with plate tectonics. Share them in the comments below, share your work and with these, remember, the plates never stop moving and science never stops either.